y'all sheila here and welcome to my channel today we're out on my back patio and we're going to do some halloween decorating i'm so excited <laughs> i really am okay what we're going to do first we're actually going to decorate this table i keep out all year uh all through the season it's kind of messed up on some spots but because it's through the weather you know it's bound to happen but i just keep it out all year so we're actually going to be decorating it then we're going to go up on my banister here and we're going to decorate that as well and to go ahead and answer there are a lot of questions y'all asking about the halloween contest I still don't know they're going to have it. They still haven't made an announcement. And I would, would have thought they would have already made it if they were. See, my apartment community has like a Halloween decorating patio contest. And last year I participated, which I did win. I was so honored, so humbled. And um, so a lot of you had asked if we're going to have it again this year. I don't know. I, I have no clue if they so Let me kind of show y'all a little bit of my area and i can't do my whole thing i'm going to show you on the on the patio like tour okay okay so here um now on this one corner i got this tree y'all i have had this tree for i couldn't tell you how long and this thing has it's just about ready to go <laughs> but i think it's kind of cool looking because these um, little greenery things are coming out and it's leaving just these little branches kind of reminds me kind of halloweenish you know kind of the way those little exposed limbs are it's kind of neat now on down here i'd already got my little witch feet these are some witch feet i picked up at uh walmart they're really really cute i love the orange because orange are really doing orange with my theme color this year and i bought a little spotlight right there i already got it in the base here of the tree and which is going to illuminate this area right over here that we're going to be decorating so that is this area which and then here here are the two patio doors and y'all remember that that is my beautiful halloween wreath y'all i love it and then there's another corner but i've got some stuff over there that i don't want to show y'all yet because i would doing that when i did the halloween tour so anyway so let's get back over here now y'all i don't know if i'm gonna have time to complete the whole thing so this may be a multi-day kind of like decorate with me so you may see me in different kinds of clothing and y'all it believe it or not it's like 82 degrees so it's kind of warm so i'm not all glammed up okay <laughs> you know we're decorating here we're not i'm not looking for a beauty contest okay so if i look kind of rough today just, just don't pay attention all righty okay y'all now let's get to decorating okay first off i'm gonna go ahead and put down like a little runner now I've got this Halloween runner. It's really, really pretty. It's got like a spider web and this orange moon with some black bats. It's kind of cool looking. I don't know, I probably picked this up at Home Goods maybe a couple years ago. So we're gonna lay it down first. And it's got the orange in it that, that sorry y'all. And it's got the orange in it, which y'all know that's my color. This okay, year. now when I got put that down, next up, I got these cute little witch boot. They're kind of like um, oh, they're kind of like fiber filled in a way, but I just thought they're just so cute. Uh, Y'all, I've had them for years. I got them at Hobby Lobby probably like three years ago. I think they still sell some soon. We're gonna put them right there. Next, I picked up two of these adorable apothecary jars. Y'all, look at them. They're so cute. I got these at Dollar General. I got this one. It's Witch's Brew Potion. And then I got a black one. It says Skull Powder. Ew, eerie. <laughs> now, these were $5 a piece, y'all. $5. And they're, and they're really neat. Really, really like these. Alright, so what am I going to do? I think I'm going to go I think I'm gonna do like this for now. I love the little tops on this. I got this cute little light up pumpkin. I picked it up at, I think it may be at Joann's or, no, 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 AC Moore. Yeah, AC Moore. And it actually plugs in, so we're gonna be plugging it in over there in the corner. So, I'm gonna put it in the middle. Next up is I got this right here. It's Black Hat Society. I picked this up at the Dollar Tree last year, y'all. And I thought for my witch theme, it's perfect. So I've got me a little stand here. With the orange all, it's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna have some cords. <laughs> all right, next up, I kind of made me a witch floor arrangement. I got two of these cats and these little, I don't know what you wanna call them. They come from the Dollar Tree. And then I put in this black vase, so. 
not here. Okay. Yeah, it's not here. Yeah, it's not here. All right, I got this little book right here. It came from the Dollar Tree. It's just like Halloween tricks and treats. I like it because it's black and orange. And I'm going to put it right here. Right there. Kind of keep the feet from closing. That way it kind of balances it back too. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Okay. No, I love that. That looks so good. Okay, I think that's good for the top. Now we're going to go to the bottom. So let me bring y'all down. We're going to be putting in this cute little pumpkin on this tractor. I bought this at Home Goods last year, y'all. And I did a haul on it. And I love him. So cute. Okay, so we're going to put in this little pumpkin on this Next up, I'm going to be putting my little jack-o'-lantern right here. I'm going to put him in the corner here. I got these books right here. I bought these at the Dollar Tree. Uh, enchantments and spells, book of witches, and potion brews and elixirs. I thought I could I'm do like that and put these right here. My favorite thing, y'all, is this gorgeous, what, poison apple. I got this beauty at Home Goods, y'all. Look, $3.99 last year. She is beautiful. And I thought, you know, kind of fits the Halloween theme, if you will. So we're going to put it right there on top of them books. <laughs> and I love how that kind of matches the silver in my tractor. It still blends well. Okay. And... Okay, lastly, I think I'm going to do this little trick or treat, little Dollar Tree, little sign that kind of, I thought it would be really appropriate for Halloween. So, I'm going to put it right here. Okay, all right, I think that's perfect. Okay, so let me bring y'all back up. Okay, I love how the orange is flowing, even with my bottles, you know, the orange and black, and even my little light-up pumpkin, and even my little floral arrangement, y'all, it looks so good. And then down here, that gorgeous pumpkin on a tractor, and my little jack-o'-lantern, and Dollar Tree with a pulls and apple, <laughs> and my trick-or-treat sign. What do y'all think? Y'all like that? I love it. Uh, one of my last thing, I'm going to be adding a sign up here. So... Okay, I got this sign right here. I got it at Target Dollar Spot. I think it was like $5. I thought about putting it right here. Yep. I'm be using these command strips. Okay, yeah, let's go see what it looks like. I think this sign brought everything together. Now, one more little thing I think I've got up my seat I'm gonna add to it, okay? One last little thing. And the last thing I'm gonna add to here are some bats. Okay, I picked up these little bats from Amazon, which I will link below if y'all are interested in them. There's some 3D bats. They actually got little adhesive to them, and I thought it'd be perfect to kind of go around this. I, I, I cannot wait to see what it's going to look like. Okay, so let me go ahead and get that up, and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, y'all, right, these come like this, and they're actually are meant to kind of like bend, you know, like this here, where it gives more of a 3D effect, if you will, and it has these little sticky little things that you put on the back. And we're going to be putting these all over there. Now, I don't know if the wind will blow them all, which I, they may. That doesn't bother me none. I'll just keep kind of popping them back up. But it's just for the fun. You know, I just want to see what it looks like. Plus the pictures. <laughs> Here are my bats. Look at it. <laughs> I, it looks so cute. I, I really, really like it. And just a variety of sizes and shapes. And I just put them all around. It may be a little too much. And these things may blow off tonight or tomorrow, but I got pictures. <laughs> it looks really, really good. I mean, honestly, it does. 
I think it I think it blends so well with everything else. I'm so pleased with this. Those bats are just the neatest things. They really are. They're so easy to put up. And I've been tugging on them and they're, they're they do stick up pretty good. But y'all, here it is. My little spotlight right here is gonna illuminate this area here. So I cannot wait to show y'all at nighttime what it's gonna look like. That is that part. Okay, all right, y'all. Let's go to this banister right here. We are going to put up some actually some Christmas garland. And then we're going to add mesh and ribbon and a few other things. Okay. All right, y'all. So let me go ahead and get all that set up and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. Um, I've got two of these. I picked these up at Hobby Lobby. And they're just a regular old basic greenery like this. I did have some I've used previously, but them things you know after so many years them things were just like shot so i did go by hobby lobby and i picked up two plain these don't have no lights on or anything they're just like the nine foot i think they're nine foot basic garland we're going to be using these and i'm going to be attaching the greenery onto my rail in here i'm going to be using like right here i already got one kind of like holding it it's just a basic little zip tie and i'm going to be going all the way down on both e both ends using these little zip ties to hold it up now actually i'm going to be using two of them because i want this a little thicker so i'm going to be putting actually both of these on here now, that is what it looks like after i put up both of those basic green garland christmas garland as you can see i just went all the way down with it i did use quite a few i can find me some here uh these little you know zip ties and that way because the reason i'm using two of them y'all is to make it a little bit more fuller as you can see it did make it wider i guess that's what i'm really wanting to do i need more real estate if you will to add my ribbons and my mesh okay, next up i'm gonna go ahead and go back and cut my little zip ties now we are going to be adding some lights to this so uh, on amazon i ordered me some 300 of these lights and they're really really nice they're actually the christmas christmas <laughs> got christmas on my brain they're actually the halloween orange let me see if i can get it in there one-handed uh, it's a box of 300 and they got different lights different like you know kind of motion to it the reason i like these because they got them the black string and they're really nice look at these little bitty lights and i did get it on the black wiring because i'm using black mesh and things like that and i didn't I didn't really think it would, I didn't want any of the colors, so I thought black would be pretty appropriate. So let me go ahead and add these little lights to my garland, okay? I'll be right back, and I'll come and plug them up and show y'all what they look like. Hang on. Okay, here are what they look like when they're all lit up. Wow, they're pretty bright, and they got eight functions to them, so 300. It might be too many of them, but with all the mesh and the ribbon and everything got on there, <laughs> I really want to show through. Okay, I got the lights all put up. I got all three of them added. Okay, let's get to decorating. Next up, we're gonna be adding this black and silver mesh. It's the same mesh that I did on my wreath. And I've got two rolls of it left, two full rolls, like half of it. And I think it's gonna be plenty enough, plenty of it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually start making poofs all the way down. Now I will get the camera up close so y'all can see as I'm doing it. And then we're gonna add maybe some ribbon and some little tubing and a few other things, okay? All right, so go ahead and let me get camera set all up and we will get start adding this mesh to it, okay? Hang on, y'all. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kinda get it, I'm gonna back y'all up just a little bit, y'all can see a little bit better. Okay, what I'm gonna start with is the very top. I'm gonna drop it to the floor and then I'm gonna take, and I usually just kinda roll it so I kinda give like a better edge you know and then we are going to gather it together and it'll make me a poof like this now your size of poof really depends on what you want you can do big or you know little small ones it's really whatever you want i'm just going to make about i don't know my best size i can say if you cover my hand you know about that size so we're going to go from here to the top all the way at the bottom so i'm gonna try to get the camera so y'all can watch here okay i'm just gonna take it i 
I'm gonna put it between two of these twists, okay? And I'm gonna start, and I'm gonna get two of my little twists, and I'm gonna twist it together, like so. And we can go back and poof it up and all of that, but that's what I'm gonna start with. Then, now, your next poof is really up to you. I just kinda uh, gather uh, probably about from my uh, wrist maybe to my elbow and then i go push forward and then i go in your next little twist area put them down and then take my little ties and twist them and there you go and then we're going to do a next one again i kind of just i just kind of eyeball how much but it's usually from my wrist to my elbow to my elbow, like the bend of my elbow, and then I push forward, which causes your poof to puff up, and then wherever I push forward, that's about where it lands to put it in my little twist. And then I get two little twists. And then I just twist them together, like that. And then we're gonna keep on going all the way down. Now, some people zigzag it if you want. Um, I'm gonna be adding stuff, so I really want to cover a lot of this one. Again, gather some, push forward, and then lay it down, and then put it between two ties, and then twist. And you can see, and this is what it's starting to look like. Now we'll fluff all these up and you know other things, but for the most part, you want to make them consistent if you can. Um, now, unless you are wanting to do your own thing and make them huge, I mean, it's really up to you. But I'm going to try to make the, all of these about the same size. Okay. Again, my mesh just you know down here in the floor. I eyeball it about where how much I want and I push forward to cut and make my loop and about where it lands is where I'm going to put it between the two twists and then twist it together and then we can zhuzh them up and everything as we progress on down that was probably a smidge larger okay let me go all the way down with it somehow go forward and then go forward and however big your poop is where it lands is where I put it between the two twists eyeballing of course okay and there you go and that is how we keep doing it all right I'll be back here in just a second after I get it all done so hang on okay Okay, you guys, alrighty, I got it all done. I even plugged up my lights. <laughs> but here is all the mesh. I had went all the way from edge to edge. And now what I did do, um, after I went all the way down, say, the middle, okay? I went all the way down my poofs. I ended at the very end. And then I started on this side of the greenery if you know what I'm saying so I started making little small poofs on this side then when I got to the end of it I went on the back side and by doing that as you can see let me try to get the camera angle it actually made it much wider and yes y'all there's my cat <laughs> um, it actually made it uh, up here and look much wider which I wanted to do and it covered up a lot of the greenery so that is what it looks like it was so simple to do just keep making small poofs all the way down and use your little greenery twist here and just poof twist poof twist really really simple y'all it is it you, you can't really make any mistakes with this you really can't it's very forgiving and so so simple and then once you get done you'll go back and kind of fluff up your little 
you know, little poofs here and make them bigger and pull and very forgiving. Okay, very forgiving. Okay, so that is what that looks like. It looks really good. Really, really good. You all, I have contemplated on what to use next. I was going to use some ribbon and stuff, but, you know, I've got so much going on, you know, like over here with all the bats and everything. I think I just want to do just some simple things and add one other thing that I just found I, I had forgot I had bought. So, what I'm going to do, I got this tooling stuff here. Um, it actually got it at Walmart. <laughs> and it's just some sheer, like, I don't know. Do you call it tool? Is that what it is? And I think I'm going to take, because we I've got orange, you know, in my colors. I think I'm just going to make little, you know, like little semi bows all the way down. All right. Now, I don't know how this is going to look, but, you know, I may give it some, you know, something different. And we all don't want the same, you know. Okay, and I just kind of cut some pieces, and this is sticking to that mesh like crazy. So I'm just gonna kind of like, like, you know, poof it up, and kind of make some sort of, some kind of bow, and y'all look. Can y'all see that? You know what I'm saying? I think that's just gonna look kind of cute. All right, let me go ahead and get this. See, it's sticking, but that's even better, because <laughs> in case the wind comes or, anything you won't blow it all off you know let me see what this is gonna look like let's see let's see give me a twist come on where you at sorry i hit the all right sorry guys i hit the drop out again okay look at that and you know make like little poofs okay I like it. Gather, just pull some up, and uh, and then I'm gonna cut. Snip. And I take it, you know, and kind of gather it, and and then we're just gonna put it, where, you know, just wherever. I like it. Okay. All right. Let me get this all done. I like this. And man, it's sticking to that mesh like crazy. Let go. Let's see. Oh, that looks so good. Look, y'all. And then I'll pull them apart. Look at that. What do you think? I'm just going to kind of fluff it up. Oh, oh, yes. You know what? I like that. I really like that. Okay, I'm going to do the whole thing and just by adding these little poofs. Alrighty. Okay, guys, I'll be back. It really looks good. All I did is make like little bows, if you will, and just kind of put it right back in my twist. Not exactly what I thought I would be using, but, you know, I really like it. Okay, next up, we're going to put one more thing before I'm going to put my crown, if you will. I'm going to be using that flex tubing of black, and I'm going to put it through there as well. So let me go ahead and get that put on. Okay, I'm going to be using this flex tubing right here. I got it at the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to be using black. And so I'm going to put it in there to give it an extra layer. Then, one more thing after that, and I think we'll be done. All right, so again, I'm just going to kind of put <laughs> my cat's trying to get it. <laughs> I'm just going to put it in the little twist as well, so... All right, you all, there it is. Okay, now I just put all that tube in as well as extra layer. I just kind of like, just haphazardly, just kind of like put it here and there. I know it's kind of messy. I just remembered I had bought this thing that I thought it would be perfect for the final touch to my banister. And they are those ball garland, but in the Halloween colors. So let me get it and I'll show y'all what I'm talking about. Final touch, I'm gonna put on my garland are these. They are those ball garlands. Yeah. I got them from Home Goods and they only had one. I've had it, you know, for like a couple, like as soon as Halloween started being put out by Home Goods, but I only had one of them. And I've been looking for another one, but I couldn't find any. So. I just remembered I had it. So we are going to put this as the final touch to my garland, okay? So hang on, let me go ahead and put it on there. I love these. Hang on, y'all. 
Okay, guys, here it is. <laughs> Looks really, really good. It's very festive, very Halloween. And, you know, it, it's not a lot of stuff on it, but that's what makes it so good because I got everything else. And the crown and glory, y'all, is this ball garland. And especially with the fall slash Halloween colors it has, it matched everything perfectly. Now, the way I had to place it, I had to put it in the middle and it did leave like um, this part and the other part kind of, uh, y'all, it is perfect for this. I just wish I could have got two of them. Really, um, I have been stalking home goods ever since, uh, you know, they put the Halloween out and because I only had one of them out there and I really wanted to, but I really forgot about it to be honest with you. But I'm so glad I remembered it because it fits here perfectly. And everything else, y'all, it, it came together so good. I love, love it, love it, love it. I mean, I can't say enough of it. All right, and so what I did, I just laid it down and then I used my little, the green, uh, the greenery twist, and then I just put it in there, and then right, like right here, I just twisted the um, the garland itself. I just twisted it, used my little twist ties, and then I kind of separated the balls, you know, here and like, everywhere. And y'all, I love this. I know that I could have made another one probably, or went and added some like, like bought some of these like black balls and kind of put them there, but. Hey, you know, to be honest with you, and you know, time has got by with me because it's only a few weeks to Halloween, but that's okay. You know, if I had more time and and if I was like really, really wanting to do go all out, I probably would have made some more of these right here. But it's okay. It looks fantastic, y'all. Looks so good. I, I really, really love it. Very simple. Very easy. Okay, guys. Well, that is it. That is my. I'm done. 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 Um, I'll kind of go ahead and I'll pan back and show y'all everything uh, all in its entirety and then we'll kind of close this video up, okay? All right, now it may be a lengthy video. I'm going to try to shorten it down the best I can, okay? All right, y'all. Well, hang on. I'll be right back. All right, you all. That's going to wrap up today's video. Thank y'all so kindly for watching. I really appreciate it. Coming up, I got my one more video, maybe on a craft little project, something about Halloween. I've been wanting to do this, kind of a cutesy craft project. And after that, I might maybe go ahead and start taking the fall down and maybe some Christmas hauls. Then we're going to get started in the Christmas decorating. Now that, I'm looking so forward to that. Thank y'all so, so much. I really, really appreciate it. But before you go, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll be so honored to have my YouTube family. And for those who've been around since day one, y'all will always have my heart. Until next time, sending all of my love from my home to yours. Happy Halloween and happy day. Bye -bye. Thank you.